Can you imagine a place which would supply you with thousands of video tutorials for free with source and downloads? Well, I can, and that place is Helping Develop, and Helping Develop is bringing out new video contents every week, so stay tuned and subscribe. Hello and welcome back to part 2 of creating a jQuery looping slider. In today's lesson we're going to be going over the jQuery, so sit back and relax and enjoy. Okay, so you can see that this is where we left off in the last tutorial, and if we go to your default web browser and open up the file, this is the display that we had in the last tutorial with just the loader image. No images are being faded in. So to fade the images in, we're going to have to include the jQuery libraries, and there are many methods of doing this. The first method is going to google.com and typing in jQuery. Now the first link that comes up is jQuery write less, do more. Now this is their private website, and if you click this download button, it comes up with a whole page of JavaScript. You can either copy and paste this into a JavaScript document and use on your website, or you can just use this URL as the source in your script tag and that will work just the same. But my more preferred method, and the reason why it's my preferred method, is because this way it will be cached in other browsers and your browser uh, by loads of other websites as well, so it would load a lot faster. But we type in Google jQuery API and we click the first link, which is Google Libraries API. Then from this available libraries we just select jQuery and you can see that we're displayed with this path here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this path and in Dreamweaver we're going to type out the script tag and type equals text slash javascript as that's the type we're using. Then the SRC standing for source we're just going to paste that path in and then we close the script tag. Right we're also going to be including the jQuery UI which is user interface. This will allow smoother and faster animations. So we're just going to copy this path just like we did with the jQuery and we're going to include it in with this exactly the same way. So script type text slash javascript and src will be this time with the jQuery UI path. And we're going to close that script off. Now we're going to open up one last script tag. Now you have an option to either make a JavaScript document and include it via your source, or like me, you can just do it on the same page, which is what I'll be doing in this tutorial. Now the first thing I'm going to have to do is we're going to have to create a function to run when the body is loaded. So that function name, you can name whatever you want. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using slider, like so. Then, for it to run once the body is loaded, within the body tag, what we do is we type onload, which is a built-in argument which is for jQuery, or JavaScript. And we're just going to onload the slider function when the document loads. Right, so you can see that if we go here, we want to fade in the first image. So what we do here is you can see how I've named each image with a unique identifier, which is ID. And I've named it ID 1, 2, and 3. Now, it doesn't matter what order it is, but the ID of 1 will come up first, the ID of 2 will come up second, and so on and so on. So in the JavaScript or jQuery, for this, we just type dollar symbol open bracket, and we're going to define the class of slider, and then we're going to select the ID of one within that slider. We're going to close that off, and we're going to do dot show. Now jQuery user interface has overwritten this method, so you can use a fade in of 500. Now 500 is the second argument, split up with a comma, and that's how long it will take to fade in. So now if we save this and view what we have, you can see that it just fades in the first image of our slider. Now what we want it to do is we want the image to slide out to the left so that more images can slide in from the right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do dollar symbol, open bracket, double quotation marks. Within the slider class we're going to define the ID of 1 and this time we're going to do dot delay. And we're going to delay it for 5,500 milliseconds. And then we're going to do dot hide and this time we're going to do the first argument is slide. Now the second argument is open and close curly brace and this is where we choose the direction. So we type in direction, colon, two single quotation marks. Within the single quotation marks is the direction we want it to slide. So we want it to slide off to the left, so that's what we put in here. And then the third argument is going to be the amount of time, so again it's going to be 500. So now what this displays as um, is it loads in, it fades in and then it has a delay of 5 seconds. 
So it's going to, after five seconds, it's going to slide out to the left. Now what we want it to do is we want it to slide more images in from the right. And how we're going to do this is first we need to create a couple vars. The first var is SC, and that stands for slide account. And what's that equal to is dollar symbol, open bracket, two double quotation marks, dot slider, and then space image, which is collecting all the images from inside that slider div. And we do dot size, open and close bracket, close it off with semicolon. Now this will return an integer of how many images that are within that slider div. Now the next one is going to be count and it's going to be equal to two. As we're already fading in the count of one, we can start the slider at two so that the next one to slide in is with the ID of two. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a set interval. Now this will allow us to uh, use a function over and over again, for example, once every five seconds. So we're just going to open the function and close the function and we're going to come off to close that off properly later on. So we do dollar symbol, open and close bracket, inside that two double quotation marks, slider, and then we just do the pound symbol for the ID, and we concatenate on the count. For example, that will say slider ID 2, because the count is starting at 2. And then just like we did before, we're going to do the show, and we're going to slide in, but this time with the direction coming from the right hand side. And that again is going to have the time of 500 milliseconds. Once that's done, we're going to then want to do the dollar symbol open double quotation marks within the slider class with the ID of count again, which will be set to 2. Once again, we're going to delay for 5,500 milliseconds, and then we're going to do the same dot hide function as we did for the slider with the ID of 1 right at the start of the function. Now we're going to do a if and else condition here because what we want to say is we want to say if the current count so the count is equal to SC which is the amount of images so technically if we've reached the end of images then what we want to do is we want to set the value of count equal to 1 so we loop back to the start of the slider else if we're not then we're going to do count plus 1 so that we go on to the next image so count equals count plus 1 then if you see here we have 500 and 500 now that takes up a total time of 1000 milliseconds and if we plus that onto this delay, it equals 6,500 milliseconds. So we're going to do, we're going to type a comma here, and then we're going to put 6,500 milliseconds and close off the function. That way, this here will run every 6,500 milliseconds. So now let's go to the browser, and let's refresh. And you can see that the first image fades in fine, and after a total time of 5,500 milliseconds, the second image fades in, or in fact slides in, and then after another 5,500 milliseconds, the third image slides in. Now instead of it stopping here, what it does is the count gets reset to 1 and it goes back to the start of the slider. Now you can have as many images within your slider class, as long as each has the ID of, for example, 1, 2, 3 and 4, it should work. So this is the jQuery sliding and looping tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video, comment below and subscribe.